Okay, so now we're gonna do the E minor arpeggio. So we're just gonna do the root position. Um, arpeggio is just a broken chord. So we're gonna be doing E's, G's, and B's the whole time. Right hand fingering is one, two, three. One, two, three on E, G, B. Tucking thumb to E, two, three. And on pinky, come back down the way you came. Same fingers. Cross three all the way to B. A little faster. Okay, and then left hand is gonna be five, four, two, one. Same thing, E, G, B. So five, four, two, stretch thumb to E, cross four to G. Stretch thumb up to the final E. Coming back the way you came, tuck thumb to E. Sorry. A little faster. And then together, both hands. And slow. That's going to help you with the bottom of page two for Harry Potter. It's using that same structure in the, the right hand. I don't know if you can see all that, but... That's all just the same E minor arpeggio. It's just up that octave to give it that higher sound.